He has a 1-1 count. That one's struck high. Left side. That one's good. That's right here off the list. You have to be kidding me. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, here we continue on with a special edition. That's right, we have our concession stand conversation dropping right here, our first of the season, and for good reason. Here we have the one and only Clayton Balkama joining us here on the Insights.com hotline. And once again, this, uh, this segment brought to you in part by Victory Mounds. Victory Mounds is your choice when it comes to premium baseball, softball, pitching, fielding, all the equipment that you could find on a baseball field, they've got it from the rubber on the pitching mound to the bases and even the playability of your field. So check them out today, victorymounds.com. They've got all the questions. And as we turn around here, we got our concession stand conversation rolling with Clayton Balkama. Hey, the Brazilian bomber, one of the guys who has been known to ding the lights in Marlins Lone Depot Park. That's a major league stadium that this guy knocked into into the bleachers and into the lights. Clayton, appreciate you coming on for the ride, man. Thanks again. Always a great time to talk with you. Thanks again for joining us. I appreciate you having me. Um, always fun to be on here. First off, um, we'll go back to our big announcement, which was you're coming back to Iowa High School baseball for the summer, Davenport North style, uh, dude. That was something that that is just huge, right? A lot of avenues for you to take. Certainly, a lot of different things you could have done for this summer. You chose to come back to the blue and into high, high school ball here in Iowa. Uh, take me through that decision, man. I, I know that home that really home means a lot to you where you've grown up, where you've taken a lot of swings that matters to you, man. So take us through your decision to arrive back at least one more time here for Davenport North. Yeah. So, um, this year's just been a really hard year, just a t challenging, yep. uh, year for family and us and all that. Um, and I just decided, like, it was either between that or a, or a summer league here in Texas. Yep. Um, and um, just, like, knowing that Davenport North is going to be really good this year, um, just with the talent that we've been playing with since trial ball days with the players there. And um, just graduating so many seniors, and I had to be a part of that. And... Uh, I just want to – this is basically – it's family to me, basically. Yep. Down, so, yeah. Oh, man. And I, I absolutely love it. You know, that, that means a whole lot. You know, when, when you come and you have that sense of value here, which you obviously do, uh, you really – and that, that is something that's down home to the core of what Iowa is. And you know what, man, you may be, you may be uh, absolutely tearing it up in Texas here the next few years, man, but certainly you got a lot of Iowa blood at heart. Before we go here, even though uh, before we continue, I should say, even though you are on the you're on a strict diet, this is an honorary concession stand conversation in which we normally, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and have a, like we've had with Clayton in the past, have a have a conversation over a concession stand item. Doesn't matter what it is, doesn't matter how we get it, but it's just a concession stand item. And uh, with that in mind here, Clayton, what's the big, uh, you know, I, I hope I matched your thought right here with this one, but what's the concessions, honorary concession stand convo piece of choice? For me, it has to be, uh, I say, uh, Reese's peanut butter cups or M&M's. Boom. Um, so, yeah. Got the Reese's here. And then again, in honor of Clayton here is, uh, that is uh, kind of the big thing, but uh, want to dive into now 
Um, everything that you've gone through, man, you, you talked about this being a challenging year. You talked about this. I mean, there's been a lot that's gone on. And yeah. uh, you know, obviously a big part of that is the recovery back from injury. Uh, first, how difficult was it to go through that injury for one? But not just that. What was the recovery process like? I mean, I obviously not a ton of people in the grand scheme go through Achilles tears like that, and so that's just a different how you walk, how you act, how you how you what you put in your body is a little bit different. How did what was that process like for you to go through that recovery process and get back to full strength? Yeah. Um, so when I tore it, it was just like a. I was very bad about it, um, very frustrated. But why does this have to happen to me? And I just had to trust God in it because he had this plan for me and I couldn't complain about it. And like knowing that my parents were there by my side helped a lot also because my parents do more than I can ask for. They're by my side every single day whenever I need them to. And that's what they did for me is when I tore my Achilles, they were there. And um, it was just a very difficult time for me because I couldn't play the, the sport that I loved, yeah. the game that I loved. And um, just watching the guys last year play on the field at North um, was just, like, very challenging for me. Like, oh, I can, I can make that play. Someone made an error. Oh, I can do this. So oh, I can do that. And just the recovery part, it, it, was, it was difficult just because I had to get muscle back on that leg and the strengthen it up and like the the pt was very very challenging and i just hope i don't do it again so yeah <laughs> yeah i mean for all we certainly love to see you out on the field man we love to see any chance we can get you on the field and get get that swing going certainly that's amazing has that impacted how you've had to get back into the swing literally your swing of things has it, I mean, have you been, have you had to approach things a little differently or has it been kind of back to like riding a bicycle? Have you kind of gotten back into the, into the groove more organically? I mean, ultimately, has there been any challenges with getting back into your field shape and of course your swing shape? I mean, yeah, there's been some challenges. Um, like at the beginning, my weight got out of control a little bit and um, just had to get back on a diet. And just like wouldn't wasn't able to exercise much because I was off my feet for two to three months, um, and um, it was just um, yeah, it was like yeah, it was just very challenging. And like the uh, the there's days like where the Achilles hurt a little bit or just like soreness, and that's when I tell my coach, and he's like, okay, just be careful about it. Yeah. Um, and coaches are looking out for me now on it. And um, just the workouts have been set differently. I feel like I do more, like, quickness stuff to just get it strengthened back up and all yep. that. So, Well, and one thing I, I think is very clear, Clayton, is that you are a guy that never shies away from the challenge. Obviously, uh, you've been absolutely – lighting it up you know every time every time i ch get the chance to see what you're doing on social media man it is impressive to see and it really adds an, um, a little bit more impressive note knowing that you came from such an injury and so really cool there um now again we've gotten to this point where we're sitting here ready for the season you're officially coming back to iowa high school ball for one more year um but uh, take take me through where you're at now uh, I know that you take the time to go to go to Texas, and there's some real heavy competition in the Lone Star State. You're going up against them, absolutely doing well. Uh, kind of take us through for others who may think about this kind of journey. Uh, what was the what was really the big push to get into ball down south like that, and uh, how has that helped to prepare you? Not just for what will come this this summer, but what will come after your high school days. Yeah, um, I say this league that I play in, um, the talent is decently good. Um, there's some players that can throw the ball a little bit, 
But lately, we've just been seeing little slower pitchers because um, we're getting close to where um, we go to the World Series, and that's where we see our really, really good pitching. Yeah. But at the, at the beginning of the year, we played um, a school called Prestonwood, um, and they're ranked like 19th in the nation. And they had a little a, a kid throwing, like, I say 96 Ooh. at us. Wow. And that was probably the best pitcher we saw all year. And uh, we hit him pretty good, um, and that was a, that was a that was a two nothing game. We lost it. Um, so, yeah, the child, the, like it's it's challenging sometimes. I mean, um, for me, it's just the workouts. I came down here for the workouts. Yep. And um, just to get more at bats, so I'm ready for the high school season in Iowa. Um, so yeah. Well, heck yeah, man! And I I know that as we sit here. I, I gotta I, I gotta know that there's a lot of people looking at you, uh, seeing what you're doing there. Um, it, have you ever thought about? I mean, I, I know you're I know you're fully committed to Texas, man. But it was has there ever been a thought about possibly if if someone reached out to you from a major league ranks, would that be something you you'd think about or entertain? Uh, I, ultimately, that's such a tough decision, and. Yeah. I, I mean, there's got to be, I, you know, I don't know, but I assume there's a lot of interest there. But ultimately, um, how exciting is it, I guess I should ask first, to be in this position? And two, do you entertain any kind of thought of going into if you do get, if they do draft you? Yeah. yeah um, just to, to be committed to Texas means a lot. Yeah. Or to sign a lot just because knows how much work I put in to it. Um. There's days where I know I got to put harder work into it um, than other days. And um, knowing that their coaches are like, trust me with their scholarship money um, just to earn it and all that. And um, yeah, just to be able to play with the best of the best at college level. Yep. And especially because they're like one of the top programs in the. And. I say, like, if there was MLB offers, um, there'll def definitely be talks about it, um, like, with parents and I. Like, hey, would you want to take this? Um, late, late rounds, I don't know if I would, just because money is lower and all that. But it's – anyway, it's just MLB. So, at the end goal, at the end goal, that's where I want to be, is be the best that I can be to get there, be better than I was the day before to be there. So, yeah. Oh man, I absolutely love that, and it certainly is very, very fun. Uh, there's a whole lot when it comes to the development that you have put a lot of work into, uh, grown there, uh, and this has been really cool. I mean, take us through also being committed to Texas. You mentioned a huge thing. Take me through that that first that commitment, right? That initial commitment, because I remember. Heading off to Miami, taking part again in the in the National Home Run Derby in Lone Depot Park, or now Lone Depot Park in Miami, home of the Marlins. You had a phenomenal showing. You take the crown. Then it seemed like a whirlwind happened. Kind of take us through the you know some of the events that took place and really what led up to not only choosing Texas but how that all came together in the first place. Um, so I was down at the power showcase and like you said, just that home run derby and, um, just, I felt really good going in there. Um, the year before that I had a bad taste in my mouth and lost it. And, um, just going back there and knowing I'm like my mindset, I'm going to win this and knowing that I won, I couldn't believe that I won still and all that. And, um, just afterwards, I wanted to plane ride back. And I just got off the plane, and Coach Longley from Texas called me. He's like, hey, this is Coach Longley. We want to get to know you a little bit and all that. I said, okay, um, yeah, I'm fine with that. And then maybe 30 minutes later, he calls me back. Hey, we can't we can't let you go. We got to give you an offer here. Um, and, yeah, just I was super honor, honored with that. And then um, – just the process. Uh, it took me a couple days just to think about it, because I got kept getting more offers coming in from um, 
Evansville where um, Clevidence is going to go and um, Iowa and just many JUCOs around and all that, big schools. And um, it's just like the process of thinking that was very challenging for me. Like, where do I want my future? Where do I want to like live or um, and live life at? And I think Texas was the place because um, it's down south and it's warm, not cold like Iowa. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, just the just the I really like Texas because it was like one of my dream schools. Just watching them play on national TV at the World Series. Like this, this program is insane. Like, yeah, I could see myself playing for them one day, and here I am next year going off to their school and playing for them. Oh man, that is that that's a really cool story, man. Uh, and gosh, the commitment decision, I can only imagine and the toughness that it, the tough decision that it takes. But ultimately, you're gonna have a lot of Iowa fans that are now hook 'em horns. You know, I, I know I. Am feeling that way. A lot of others, and so again, congratulations, Clayton, on what you've earned, rightfully, uh, what you've done, but also, congrats on another trip back to uh, high school ranks. With that said, kind of wrapping things up here again on our concession stand convo with our honorary Reese's peanut butter cups, the honorary favorite of the one and only Clayton Bulkema. Uh, the process to get back here, Clayton, uh, it, a little bit of challenge, right? There, there are some obstacles to overcome, but uh, I mean, takes through the the obstacles to get here because uh, obviously there it wasn't just clear cut and dry as coming back and just establishing yourself. Had, might you had to have some conversations, right? So, what was the what was the path to get back into Iowa High School ball for you? Um, just for me, um, knowing that I had a really good sophomore year, um, yep. the hit record at Davenport North and knowing that I want to do more there and break more records. And for me, possibly to get Gatorade player of the year this year for in Iowa, would yeah. be a big thing. Um, just my dad and I talked about it and I was like, sophomore year, yeah, I didn't really care about it much. And congratulations to Trevor cause he got it. Um, and um, last year didn't play at all, and that just didn't feel good at all. Yep. This year, um, I feel very confident in myself when playing with a bunch of seniors at Davenport North and just the talent we got because our team last year, their winning record for the first time in 12 years, um, and knowing that we only lost two guys um, and knowing that we lost them, um, it kind of hurt, but like, also like, we were pitchers, and um, just knowing that we can make a good, good run for it at state. That's one of the reasons that I came back here. Oh man, and absolutely love that. I mean, when you made the decision to come back as well, again, I, I'm rooting for you, man. Uh, was there any was there any conversation you had to have with the Iowa High School Athletic Association on that, uh, or was it just a matter of simply checking the rules, making sure everything fit right? Uh, was was there anything that you had to go through in that realm? Uh, no, not really. Um, I just had to talk to my coach about it, and then he did whatever he had to do. And gosh, w- w- I think we love coaches for many reasons. God love coaches for that, man. He really helped you out, man. And I love that. And I think that's absolutely amazing, man. Certainly a great. And again, ladies and gentlemen, Clayton Balkama, the Brazilian bomber, coming back again. We get the chance to see prime Clayton Balkama in a Davenport North uniform one more time. And Clayton, man, I appreciate the time here. Uh, this has been a, an extended concession stand conversation, but man, really can't thank you enough congrats man you've earned your commitment you've earned everything thanks uh, i mean gosh i guess I should say thanks for coming back as well but can't wait to get this season going yeah i'm really excited just to what god brings us um so yeah i'm really pumped about it
Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Again, if you get the chance, eat a Reese's, right? That's Clayton Balkama's pick. Also, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, we got a hat for you. If you want to get this hat, make sure you comment here on our wherever rockfin and youtube wherever this is posted make sure to comment you could get a free hat and simply all you need to do is give a comment and give a congratulations to uh, clayton Bulkema as well clayton thanks again for taking the time man appreciate it yep no problem thanks for having me all right ladies and gentlemen this has been another edition of concession stand combos we'll see you later